Yeah, we're in a holding pattern, Karen, waiting on our next storm system, waiting on our next cold front. That's going to be moving through overnight tonight into early on Wednesday. So ahead of that, we tend to see what we've got today. That's moisture ramping up temperatures that are on the warm side and those winds picking up as well. We've got all of that in play right now. And as you can see right now for midday, most of us are dry. We do have the heavy clouds and just a couple of light showers back to the far east and back to the far west. I don't expect we see much though in the way of rain through the day and that's going to wait till tonight. So ahead of our cold front, we're just seeing that moisture surge. We've been watching our dew points going up. This morning that dew point was at 47 and now we're seeing it at 61. So that tells you how things have changed. Temperature right now from the airport is 71. Winds out of the south at about 18 miles per hour, but gusting higher than that. And it is going to remain very gusty as we get into the later night hours. Timeline today, about a 20% chance of rain by 9. We go up to 30% chance around midnight. You can see those temperatures staying mild. So here is what's happening. Next storm system is back around the four corners. You can kind of see that as precipitation, the rainfall, the snow continuing to pass through the four corners and that's going to race to the east through the next 24 hours. As that happens, we're going to continue to watch as the moisture builds and kind of sets the stage for those storms tonight. So you can expect we'll continue to watch that humidity climb. Warm front lifting to the north helps us to do that today. And then as far as our storm threat and the timing, it looks like this waits until the overnight hours. So this is midnight tonight. We're seeing that cold front start to pull in from the west. That's where I would say we start to watch for some development. And I think we're talking about some strong to possibly severe storms building just west of 35, moving towards the Metroplex, probably three, four o'clock in the morning, and then quickly racing off to the east as we get to a seven, eight o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So a fairly short window where we're going to be seeing that threat. But a very large area seeing a slight risk for severe weather. It stretches from Kansas all the way through central Texas. I think the better chance is still up in Oklahoma and Kansas, but we will need to monitor here in North Texas as well for that potential to see a few of those storms turn severe. So here would be the threats, large hail up to a quarter in size, damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. That would be the main things that we're going to be watching. Storms are out, though. Again, keep that in mind, 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So most of tomorrow is great. We're going to see some sunshine back for St. Patrick's Day, a high of about 70 degrees. But I do want to point this out. If you happen to have any plans for the holiday, Look at the winds. It's going to be very gusty tomorrow. Gust 35, possibly up to 40 miles per hour. Not out of the question for a very windy Wednesday and then turning cooler as we head into Thursday and Friday.